Hi folks, how are you all doing? This is Pravin Dore from Dice University and in today's video, we are going to take a look at why you shouldn't use Catra for your affiliate page. Catra is a huge platform guys, there's a lot of features, but we are going to be very, very specific on the Catra's page builder. How's the title sounds interesting? If you find the title to be interesting, then definitely you will be finding this video to be much much more interesting guys so please support us by hitting the subscribe button the like button as well as the bell notification so that we can actually produce more content like this very very often guys so stay tuned and let's go Welcome to today's video everybody and in today's video we are going to talk about why you shouldn't use Katra for your affiliate pages. Okay, so a lot of people might be heard of Katra before. Katra is very famous especially I have used personally used Katra a lot. I've used it mostly for its affiliate uh, programs and everything. So Katra is very very famous and in today we are going to be very specific on why you should not use Catra for your affiliate page and for those who don't know what Catra is, Catra is uh, what, what we call it a one-stop solution for a lot of stuff. Actually they do a lot of stuff. They do email marketing, they do video marketing, uh, you can actually use it for an email marketing tool, you can use it as a video marketing tool, you can use it as a CRM, you can use it as a page builder, there's live support, there's a lot of stuff with Catra. And the thing about Ketra is that being a one-stop solution, being a jet of all trade and master of none, I think Ketra is doing a very great job in that. So it, this is not a particular downfall of Ketra. For example, like yesterday we talked about build role. When we talk about build role, there was a, a feature that we told that build role does not focus on a specific thing and they're doing a bad job trying to cover everything up. But with Ketra, that is not the problem. In fact, that is actually one of the biggest highlight of Catra. But that's not why we are here, right? So we are here to talk about what is the downfall of Catra. So let's go. So the first thing is divider problem. And, and let, before I go further, let me just tell you that when we talk about Catra, we are talking of specific about Catra's page builder, guys. We are not talking about anything else. We are not talking about its email marketing tools. We are not talking about its video marketing tools. We are talking about its page builder alone. So when we talk about divider problem, a lot of uh, big, big uh, page builders, they have already created exotic dividers, guys. Dividers to make the page look very nice. And Catra, I think they very they lag back a lot when it comes to divider alignment and all this kind of stuff. So main thing that I feel which is very bad about Catra is that their divider is so limited. Their divider is not cool. It's not exotic at 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 all. You can't use it to make cool adjustment of your page which a lot of page builders have already introduced right now and Catra being a so big company so big page builder I think they they lag back in this a lot and the second thing is that Again, like I told you, alignment problem. Catra is very, very bad when it comes to alignment. I don't know what's the problem with them and alignment, but then alignment is one of the biggest issues that they have. And when I talk about this particular specific alignment problem is when it comes to mobile device. So when you're doing a page builder in a Catra and then you try to see it, preview it, or you try to make it look in a mobile device, the alignment is always an issue. Always, let me emphasize the word always, always an issue. I don't know why this happens. Um, they, they, they really lag back in the alignment. Maybe because it's actually correlated with the divider problem just now, but the alignment is a very big issue over here as well. So the next one is checkout process and page loading is slow. I don't know, you might be thinking, hey, you already talk about page loading is slow before. I mean, I mean, of course I need to talk about it again and again because 
one of the most crucial important thing when it comes to affiliate marketing or let it be running a business itself is regarding the loading speed of your page why google is so famous why facebook is so famous because it takes instantly to load their page I mean, we can, definitely we can't go ahead and compare ourselves with google or facebook they're huge companies but then we have to make sure that we do a lot of stuff to improvise our page loading speed and with Ketra since everything is built in everything is closed sourced everything is behind their system you could not do this integration you could not uh you can do a little bit of uh tinkering here and there to make your page load fast a little bit but then since everything is in their back end you can't do many much tinkering so the checkout process as well as the page loading is actually very very slow and this is one of the main reason why i don't like to use a page builder which uh, has their own uploading system which does not integrate with amazon s3 because amazon is pretty fast amazon s3 is pretty fast and uh this kind of place builder they lag behind when it comes to the loading speed a lot the next one would be still lacking in features although Catra has a lot of features compared to I'm, I'm being very specific on the page builder guys like i told you just now itself so compared to other particular page builders out there which is the Catra's competitor i still think that they lack a lot in many features guys they can actually improve a lot in their feature and i really do hope that they improve a lot they do have a lot of planning i've seen some videos promotional videos on Catra, so they do have some kind of planning on this feature so i do uh, hope they improve this as well so the last one i think the second last one is the customer support response uh this is something which is very bad with cats right in the sense of if you want to make even small changes it takes quite some time to for example you want to change something in your page building you're not sure how to do it so you reach the customer support it might take some time until the customer support reach you even for small changes so th this is where i think they are a little bit uh, they should focus more on and I think a lot of company actually failed because of their customer support response And I, I really hope that Catra don't fall on that category But their customer support is still not so impressed Impressive if you ask me personally and finally this is the last one guys like I told you second last last one glitches uh, If you're running a tech company or if you're running a business you would know that Glitches can cause a lot of problems for your business. Not only cause a lot of problems, it can cause a lot of money for your business. And Catra is a little bit infamous, should I say infamous? Infamous for glitches. They do have a lot of glitches happening around with their updates and everything. Uh, they, are, they are constantly, I'm not saying that they're not working on it. They're constantly trying to improve it. They're constantly updating. They're constantly making improvement. But the glitches are still there. And if you look from a business perspective, you're running an e-commerce store and suddenly you have a glitch that's bad that's really really bad and that's something that Catra should should uh, focus on removing as well so since we have talked so many bad things about Catra should I say bad things no guys we still talk good things about Catra right we are not here to actually talk uh, bad things about Catra alone we are going to talk good things as well but the video is we're going to make the video short guys so definitely we'll be doing another pros and pro pros video especially for Catra but then since um since there's a lot of bad stuff regarding Catra, negative stuff regarding Catra, so what is actually the recommendation that you as an affiliate can use for your affiliate page? I would highly recommend a brand new software called the Landerize. Why? Why is the reason I recommend this software is because first thing, it's super fast. It's uploaded to Amazon S3. Remember, I was talking about loading speed just now and I'm talking about Amazon S3. So this is actually, uh, you can actually upload them to Amazon S3 so it's super 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 fast and that's one of the best features there is it's super fast guys and you can actually integrate it with any type of tracker it's it's still the same drag and drop builder like or, uh, all the other stuff as well and they do have like a 50 templates i think right now i hope they make it 100 or something like that very soon it's so simplified guys you can actually go into the land rise and create your landing builder uh sorry landing page less than five minutes guys, which is which is pretty impressive if you ask me and the best part one of the most highlighted point that i like about landerize is that it's actually a landing page builder built by affiliate for affiliates and this is something which is 
very rare in the industry where there is no specific affiliate which builds uh, affiliate, uh, sorry, landing page builder for affiliate pages. And Landrise is one of them. It's built by affiliates for affiliates. So they do know, uh, they do look at it from the perspective of an affiliate and a perspective of an affiliate page. And that's one of the best reasons why I like Landrise. Case. So the link is in the description. I've leave the link for Landrise in the description of this video. So do check it out if you are interested. And guys, please support us by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our good upcoming videos, guys. So stay tuned. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.